Basic CO2 Dosing Setup Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which we are going to show you how to set up the automated CO2 dosing. We will calibrate the pH probe and define the required levels of pH, at which the magnetic valve will turn on and off, and thus control the CO2 dosing. Once we tap the currently empty CO2 control panel on the dashboard, the wizard in the application will guide through the probe calibration process. As the first step, we need to calibrate the pH probe, in order to a precise measurement. Two calibration solutions are included with the device, one with pH 4 and the other one with pH 10. For future recalibration you can use any standard calibration solutions available. Before you start to calibrate the probe, it is good to wash it with clean water, just to get rid of the buffer solution used for storage of the probe. First, we need to use the low pH calibration solution, in our case the 4 pH. You can use the included measurement volume, which has the right volume and shape. We put the probe in the solution and press the button in the application. We enter the exact pH value of the calibration solution, and press calibrate. Now the probe needs to stabilize, before we read the value which will be used for calibration. We need to wait in this step. After the probe is stabilized, it automatically sets the low pH calibration point and we need to calibrate with the other calibration solution. When changing the calibration solution, it is good to clean the probe in clean water. Next, we need to make the calibration point on the high end of the pH scale, it will again take some minutes to stabilize. Luckily enough, it is only needed to recalibrate the sensor about once in 4 to 6 months. After we have successfully calibrated the probe, we need to set the required levels of pH to be maintained. There are two options how to do this. We can either set the KH of water in our aquarium and let the device set the pH levels based on the formula which defines the ratio between carbon water hardness, measured in KH. The acidity of water measured in pH and the dissolved CO2 in water. If you prefer to let the device automate this decision, enter the KH level on this screen. You will be able to modify the settings anytime later. The other option is to define the pH levels manually. In this case, we enter the desired minimum and maximum pH value. In our aquarium, we want to have the pH in the 7.2 and 7.0 pH level. So I enter the maximum amount 7.2 and the minimum amount 7.0. Now we have the CO2 dosing successfully set up. By clicking on this colored table, you can see the recommended values of pH for given KH. The device sets the values based on this table. If you want to modify the values, simply click on this button to enter the modification screen. You can see that the device modifies the values based on the entered KH of water. We will talk a bit more about the other control options on this screen in the next video.